Welcome to the Coffee Talk with Liquid Shano 1973 podcast. Okay, everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whenever you're listening to this podcast, you're, you've got me in your ears, you got me on your speakers, and here we are together in another episode. This is episode number 182 of Coffee Talk with Liquid Shano 1973. As many of you know, I'm your host, Shane Lakita. Now, my story really behind the reason why I make the podcast is all around mental health, doing positive things, living in the positive space with a can-do attitude and knowing that you can do everything and achieve everything you want to be able to accomplish if you just do the work and set your mind to it. The purpose of the podcast in general was a way for me to be able to sit down, have conversations with folks, and do all the things that I wanted to do and achieve the goals that I wanted to achieve all the while having conversations and kind of audio blogging along the way. Now, almost 150,000 downloads later, a bunch of subscribers that have gone on to iTunes and Podbean and subscribed to the podcast itself. I'm 100% appreciative of every single one of you guys. And this is why I do it. This is the reason why I do the podcast. Now, we're a little late now. So this is episode 182. And the last episode, 181, we're about 12 days ago. We had gotten into a few different things, five different tips to how to be successful, really digging in from my experiences and kind of moving forward. So here we are in the new year, and we're going to be doing things a little bit differently this year. And there's a couple of things that I wanted to cover with you in the beginning section of this before we get into what I've been really thinking about and what's been on my mind for the podcast itself. So tomorrow, I'm hoping, now this is this is a hope and a prayer right now, because I'm trying to get myself all set up with uh, visuals and cameras and everything else that I'm trying to do with the podcast itself, is I'm going to try going live tomorrow night. Tomorrow night's podcast, this is, of course, let's see, let's take a look at the date here. Today is the 20th of January, so I'm looking at the 21st of January, which is the third Tuesday of each month. I'm going to try going live. Now, I'm going to try going live on Instagram, maybe YouTube, and Facebook. Now, on Facebook, it's probably going to be on No Finish Line Nation. If you don't know or you haven't been on No Finish Line Nation, all you have to do is go into Facebook, go into your app, and search in the groups or put in the search box, No Finish Line Nation. And when you go there, you'll see a big black logo with a endless road in the background with a nice little, almost like a sky scene in the background of it. And you'll see there's a couple moderators or a couple admins of the page. There's three of us actually right now. So you can join the page itself to also watch the live tomorrow. I, I'm one of the admins of the page, so I'm actually allowed to do lives or do different things on the page itself to try to motivate and inspire. So we're going to try to move down that road of moving into some more video aspect of it, some lives, take some questions on the air and record as we go and then of course a few days later after all the editing and the different stuff that i'll have to do for the audio section of the podcast we'll go ahead and put that put that out probably this weekend so that's the plan guys that's 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 what i'm looking at on the agenda of things to be able to try to get done or to try to elevate our performance in 2020 in the space so the live is one of the different changes we're going to be making i'm going to try to do it like i said every third tuesday of the month Okay, so we can kind of put a calendar appointment in there. I'm going to make some do some advertising probably tomorrow for it and try to see if I can really get generate some uh, some eyes and some viewers in there to be able to come on board and step in there and have some conversations and celebrate together and then have you guys communicating while the while the podcast is going on. So it'll be a really unique and neat experience and a new experience for myself. The second thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to be booking one interview per month. Now, I talked about this on the last podcast, maybe even the one before that. This is another thing that I dream and aspiration to do. Realize that this whole podcast has been me, you, and the microphone. Just us two. Well, us and however many listeners are listening to on the podcast itself. But it's just us. It's intimate. It's just me talking into a microphone about my feelings, about where I'm at with things, and just kind of sharing my thoughts and the journey and tips and pointers of how to be successful as we move forward. So it's always just been this intimate level of one man mic right here with all of you to be able to chronicle that and be able to do that. But what I feel is, is we're at a point now, we're a couple years into the podcast here, we're at episode 182, and I feel like we could really 
bring in some better quality, some more rich conversations, some dialogue, some diversity within the whole dynamic of this podcast. Because if you think about it, the podcast itself is really about my journey and where I'm at with it and how I think about things, which is great. I, I love to be able to share that with you guys. And I love the feedback and the and the positivity and the the encouraging words that you guys give to me all the time about the podcast itself, but it's nice to bring in some diversity here. So I'm going to be looking different directions towards people that know how to cook healthy or people that know how to do yoga or people that exercise in the gym and can give some tips and pointers or maybe talk about their journey and what they've been through and the struggles that they've seen and all those things. So I'm going to try to really incorporate that and schedule some interviews. Now, these may be just normal, everyday Joes, just like me. Nobody famous. I, I don't have any famous actors, actresses. Nobody famous on the on the big screens to be able to bring into the podcast yet. Who knows? Down the road, maybe. Maybe if the podcast explodes and we're moving down that road, maybe. But right now, it's all about the normal, everyday, average Joe trying to be able to put one foot in front of the other and just bring a positive influence in life. So most of the themes of the people that I'll be bringing on the podcast are people that I find to be inspirational or positive or can I can relate to whether I find funny or whatever, you know, we'll do we'll do the interviews and I'm try to do them on site. So most of them will be local of where I'm at, but we'll try to do some over the phone and different things like that too. So that's kind of the future of what is to come here in 2020. I'm being a little bit more specific this time because last time I was kind of vague with where I was at. So one live podcasts and two interviews that we're going to layer in and be able to reference and be able to tap into to create a library of, of some resources for all of you that are out there trying to be able to get it done. Okay. So that's kind of where we're at with everything. I did post out just this week. I put out a really inspirational card that I received in the mail from a patron of the show. Kathy had gone down the road of really sharing with me that she had been reading my blogging posts way back in the day, like four years ago, and then went into the podcast realm and took it to the next level of where we were at. And she's followed all along the way the whole entire time. So I'm super appreciative of her becoming a patron. And if you are interested in becoming a patron of the show, just, just all, here's all you have to do. This is the only part I'm going to talk about it here is go to www.patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash liquid coffee talk. That's all you got to do. Once you go to that page, you can sign up to become a patron. You can sign up for some merch, some some tchotchkes, some mugs, some shirts, all kinds of different stuff that's there. And we can really move the podcast forward, which will help me afford the things like I'm trying to do with the live, with the cameras and everything else. So <laughs> this is kind of the space that we're living in right now. So here, here we are right now, guys. We're in episode 182, and I just want to go right into the meat and potatoes of the podcast that I wanted to get into today because it's been on my mind, and it's something I've been thinking about after I saw an interview and I read an article that I've recently seen this last week, okay? This whole episode here that we're going to get to talking about is all about how we let life get in the way of happiness, so we're living our best version of ourselves. We're trying to go out there and do positive things. And we let the feelings of life and life in general get in the way of our happiness. I think there's many people that are listening to on the other end of this microphone right here that can relate to what I'm saying to you when I say different terms of what we're going to talk about here in the podcast are things that get in the way of you moving forward, of being the best version of you without even you intentionally letting it happen. It's more like it's human nature. Human nature is those, those feelings that we get about things, those angst that we get about things, those angry things that happen in our lives. We let it take over our whole entire psyche. And then we it almost engulfs us. And then it becomes almost the norm where that's how we act. And we don't even realize that it did it. How many times have you gone into a situation where you might have felt some passion or some energy or some sort of feelings about certain things and then and then all of a sudden your whole mood changes? You go from maybe you were a positive or you drank some coffee in the morning, you're ready to go, and then just because you had a friend that walked by that you don't really care for too much or that you're jealous of or whatever else, internal feelings that you have that set you off and then from that point forward, your day is shot and is ruined. I think everybody that's listening right now can relate to that situation, no matter what it is. So whether it's internal feelings that we have, which we'll talk about, or external things that happen around us that also get in the way of our happiness, either one of those situations, they happen. Life gets in the way. It just does. Life gets in the way because if life was perfect and you had a clean path to get to wherever you had to get to, everybody would be there, correct? 
everyone would be at that utopia stage of being where they want to be in life. So we let life get in the way of our happiness. Here's how it all stemmed from this week, okay? So I was sitting there listening to a podcast, and I was actually reading an article based on, and I'll let you know who it is in a minute, but based on a famous actor. This this actor started off in the music industry, probably back when I was a teenager, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit older than in the teenager years. But anyway, they started off right on the top of the charts. They had some big hits. They were running with it. And there was all kinds of hits coming that way, and they just were on top of the world really quickly, hit fame very fast with the music industry. And then, of course, the music industry then turned over to the movie industry. And then they started to headline some movies and start to headline some really big hits and, you know, billion-dollar blockbusters that they were part of. And then they just became famous, and and now they've moved into the next stage of trying to be positive influence and those kind of things. And one of the stories that this person shared was early days when they were in the music industry. They it, it was almost like a machismo moment, right? So you had some people that were in the music industry in the same room with each other or in the same type of genre of music and there's egos that got in the way and so this person had shared that they had they were a fan of another artist but then they realized that their fandom of that other artist caused them to become jealous of that other artist and then they closed off to that other artist and they had many opportunities to get to know each other during the whole entire time frame but his own inequities internally caused him to not not go down that road because of the jealousies of the fact that you know they both coveted the same girl or they had different walks of life that they were trying to be able to get to the top of the charts even though there were totally different types of music but they were similar in the same genre or demographic or anything like that but there was a jealousy factor and so what he said was is that he missed out on opportunities to be able to meet this person, to have a conversation with this person, to be able to really dig in and find out some of the true meanings of where this person was at and the artists that they were and the way that they believed in things and the way that they preached certain stuff through their music and whatever else. And so they missed out on the opportunity because this artist was killed at a young age. So it, it woke me up a little bit. I sat back and I thought to myself, you know what, though? He's talking about, I know it may be a feud or maybe different stuff that happens in with these big wigs and these movie actors and 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 musicians and all the petty stuff that we see and we, we, we can't keep our eyes off of a lot of times when it comes to National Enquirer and whatever else. But here's the thing. The point that he was trying to make was is that he let those feelings that he had internal get in the way of him really getting to know somebody that probably could have enhanced his life, probably could have become true friends, or they had similar walks of life growing up. They had similar stories of what they were trying to be able to you know, get through and barriers that they were trying to break through and the industry that they were coming into to play with to, for everybody to listen to. And literally wouldn't do it because of the jealousy factor. Although he was a fan of this person, although he liked the music of what this person was doing, although he really was able to see exactly what this person was putting out on the on the audio streams and being able to, on the radio and, and on records and whatever else, he broke down on his own internal and he lost the opportunity to get to know somebody that he knows now would have made an impact in his life and would have been a positive influence and they could have got to know each other and maybe even been able to enhance each other's life to be able to move forward in a space where it would have just been better. But he chose not to because he had those internal factors, those internal feelings that he had caused the jealousy to shut him down. And then he, the jealousy that shut him down caused him to then say, I'm not talking to that person because I don't need that person. And ego stepped in and, and then all the other stuff happened. By the way, if you're looking to find out who this person was, it was a recent podcast that Will Smith had done on, uh, it was another person's uh, podcast that was on there. And he was just talking about it as they're out promoting the new Bad Boys 2 movie. So it was pretty cool to be able to hear his perspective talking about Tupac Shakur. So he's talking about the fact that he, uh, Tupac and he had walked in the same exact walk of life and then all of a sudden, here's this clean-cut Will and there's this harder-edged Tupac and they both liked Jada Pinkett Smith, who is wife now, but they both liked her and, 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 and she became friends with uh, Tupac along with him. And so she was always trying to get them together to be able to say, you guys would get along so well. You you both think such from such a, a deep personal place and all this different stuff but he never took the chance to do it because the jealousy factor kicked in and then he was killed and then next thing you know he never got a chance to let that guy know 
what kind of impact that he had or the music that he had or wanted to get to know him better as a person. So that story got me thinking. The story got me thinking because I then thought to myself, how many opportunities do we have in life to be able to make a positive influence on ourselves, on people around us, and then we don't do it because of those types of situations that arise where we might be jealous of another person or we might be angry at another person or maybe we're holding grudges and this person might have turned over a new leaf. Maybe they, you know, back in the day were rude and considerate. Maybe they drank too much. Maybe they did drugs. Maybe they did whatever. And we've written them off in their lives, but they've cleaned their life up and they've done everything they need to do. But you've always got that little, that drama in the back of your head saying, this person is a bad person. They make bad decisions. They ruin certain t- things to do with my life in the past. So I'm not, I don't want anything to do with them folks or whatever, right? So that's one aspect of it. Maybe it's greed. Maybe it's the fact that you look at somebody and you say, hey, you know what? We both came in the same upcomings. We both were grew up together. And then this person over here is making six figures and I'm making $50,000 a year as a waitress at IHOP. So whatever it is, these feelings start to come up and they start to shut us down with actually enjoying different stuff that goes on around our lives. How about the fact that you might see Instagram posts or Facebook posts or TikToks or whatever other kind of social media that you're using. And they got people that are out there that look gorgeous, right? They're 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 trimmed up and they're in these spandex and they're out there running around and they're dancing and they're doing all kinds of great stuff. And you're overweight and you're thinking to yourself, I can't go outside right now because I can't be seen because that's all that's being seen out there. And then your view and your lens changes where you're not going to go enjoy things in life or go out to be able to see some waterfalls or go out to enjoy some snow or do whatever because you're internally worried about what people would think about you based on what you're seeing on social media and on platforms and on in society in general. What are they going to think of me if I get up on those skis and I'm doing the 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 two triangles for the skis pointing inward and I'm going down the bunny hills when I got these people going down black diamonds and 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 flipping over on on snowboards. So then we get in our own heads and we don't want to go experience those things like on the mountain or in the snow because then we're thinking to ourselves I'm going to be embarrassed. I'm the people are going to be looking at me. I'm going to have people that are going to judge me for based on my weight or based on me not being able to ski or whatever it is. I'm just giving you one example. But my point is, how much of life do we not experience and go after based on the fact that we're worried about what other people think about us? It's a ton. There's so many different situations that we run into that we're afraid to do based on what response might be based on how jealous we may be, based on the fact that we're looking at their level of where they're at. You guys all know there's so many times on this podcast and throughout the whole entire time, I've brought up many times before that comparison is a thief of joy. It's an old adage, right? But it's so true because a lot of these feelings that we get about things are all because we're basing our our opinions on comparisons of other people and their situations, We're looking at whether they have money or whether they're athletic or whether they're in shape or whether they're going to the gym or they're being consistent or they're saving money or they're whatever it is that that we see them doing that we're not doing that we feel bad about. Then all of a sudden we start to get into our shell and we start to feel bad about what's going on and then we start to close off and then we start to dim the room a little bit and we don't let that light shine through for us to be the positive influence that we deserve to be. Listen, the world needs positive lights. We don't give enough of it because we're afraid of how people are going to respond to it. How many times have you been told, and I know this is a personal story for me, so I'll say this is how many times I've been told a lot, right? A lot of, if I come into a situation where somebody is talking about something or discussing something and they're looking for some negative reaction towards something, and then I may say, well, you know, you got to think about it this way though. This might be something to think about. And they look at you with this disgusted disdain of, I wanted you to be in the negative space right now, but all you're doing is bringing this positive grossness to the table because people like to live in that negative space. They like to live in this this muck, in this dirt, in this grime of just being a negative person naturally. It's easier almost to be in that place of where we can complain or we can just sit back and judge or do different things because it's just easier. It's hard to work on being positive. 
It's hard to live in the space that with a can-do attitude and a space where you know it's going to take work, but then you get frustrated because you want it to be easy, and then it's so easy to get in the place where you're just like, this sucks. I don't want to do this anymore. So the premise of it all is, is stop closing your life off to positive experiences just based on the fact of how you're feeling at that moment in time. We talk about it on the podcast a bunch of times. Many times we've had conversations in the past about the fact of when you get up in the morning and you look at yourself in the mirror and you put on your makeup and you put on your clothes and you have a positive word about yourself. Something positive as you're looking in the mirror. You're looking in there and you're saying to yourself, hey, you know what? That's pretty cool, man. You look good today. Even if you're not really feeling like you're looking good at that moment in time. But you know what? That shirt is on point. Or, hey, you know what? My hair looks great. I got a good trim on the beard going. It's great. Awesome. I feel good today. And you got to make yourself into the place where you can walk out the door with a positive influence and keep on continuing that pushing forward. Now, listen, is life easy? No. Is life super hard and, and, and is so difficult to be able to get through one day at a time sometimes? Yes. More often than not, that life piece that I was talking about when I opened with by saying we let life get in the way of our happiness is so much more evident <laughs> in our lives than it is just happiness being handed to us or us or or the paths opening or the seas splitting apart for us to be able to walk a nice easy path of resistance and be successful and just get it. I would love it if we didn't have to put a lot of work into things. It'd be great. So the story that he shared really stood out to me. It stood out to me because we so often do this. We so often sit in the place of how am I feeling or where am I at with it or what's my lens, what, am I, what lens am I looking through? Do I think of it as being a possibility? Am I being negative? Am I being a downer? And nine times out of 10, we are. Let's just be honest. If you catch me pre-coffee, <laughs> in between the time that I wake up and the time that I go grab my coffee, you're probably gonna find that negative guy. Oh, listen, I'm there. I, I, I literally am in the place where everyone that's in my family and everybody around me knows that I got to get some coffee just to be able to kick my day off right. But that's part of my positivity, though. Yeah, maybe it's an addiction to caffeine. Maybe it's an addiction to something. You know, and, and, and there's a lot of things that you could be addicted to. And if caffeine's one of them, then okay, that's my, that's my thing, I, I guess. But that's my positive influence. That's my look in the mirror and say something positive. When I'm sitting there with a cup of coffee and I say to myself, you know what? I can do anything today. That, that's a good thing, right? I, I, can, I, I can use this as a positive catalyst for my life and doing the things that I need to. Then, then lean in on that. Stop thinking about all the things bad could happen. Start, stop thinking about all the things that you have that are out there that are going to be negative influences on you and deterrents and detractors, and mountains and barricades and blockades and whatever else. Stop living in the space of worrying about those and just go for it. You know, if Will Smith had stepped out of there and said, you know what, I'm going to take my ego, push it off to the side, my jealousy, my envy, all those things, push them off to the side and met this person, I probably could have been changed for the better in my life. But I didn't take the chance and move that stuff off to the side and move forward with something that I know that I should have. Because you never know what you're going to get from something that may seem scary. You never know what you're going to get from something that you may be angry about or something that you're in, in, in tune with. Maybe you've got, a, like I opened with, with that whole grudge piece. Maybe you've got somebody that you're not really a big fan of, but you know you've heard from other people that they're a really good person, but you're saying to yourself, no, they're not. They're not that great of a person. They screwed me over. They did something to me that's really a, a, a negative thing. So I got no time for them. But a lot of times, if we lean in on that piece and we take away some of those grudges and we go towards the things like forgiveness and things like, hey, let's have a conversation. Let's open up the door for dialogue. Let's, let's, let's lean in a little bit and be able to say, hey, you know, I know you burned me in the past or I burned you in the past. Let's have a conversation and just put it out there to try to see who knows where this could lead. Just think about it, guys. Think about all the things that you that makes you angry, that makes you gluttonous, makes you jealous, makes you envious, 
makes you have greed that comes out of your body or those cravings kick in because you just want whatever it is that's there and your mind says that's the direction that's there or whatever it is. And you got to think to yourself, don't let those feelings get in the way of experiencing happiness. Don't be afraid to go out and breathe that fresh air and ride that zip line. Don't be afraid to go out somewhere to a gym just because you're thinking to yourself there's a whole bunch of fit people that are all working out and, and trimmed up and looking great like Adonis is all over the place. And here I am walking in there overweight trying to be able to put one foot in front of the other on the treadmill. You don't know who you're going to inspire by you being there. And to be quite honest with you, I've been told by people in my heaviest states when I've gone into gyms, they've walked up to me and said, you're inspiring me, man. Keep going. Keep fighting. But I wouldn't have known that unless I went and did it. I wouldn't have known that I might inspire somebody else with this podcast unless I went and got some microphones and I sat in front of my computer here and went against the grain of all these people that are like, what are you doing? Like a podcast? What is that? Right? Right? But I wouldn't have known that I would have gotten letters like I did from Kathy this week, that patron I told you about earlier. And I wouldn't have known of all the people that message me and email me and say, you know what, your positivity, I feel like you're my personal coach every day when I put on my headphones and I go, I feel like I can accomplish whatever it is that I want to accomplish. Keep doing what you're doing. I wouldn't have known that, that I could make that type of positive influence on people unless I fired up the microphone, went out and made the sacrifice and spent the money on the equipment that I needed to to come over to my house to be able to sit down and start recording on this microphone right here. I would have known that unless I took chances, unless I stepped outside of my comfort zone of going, going, getting over those things like fear, getting over those things like uh, they're going to laugh at me or I won't have anything to say or I don't really know if I'm going to inspire anybody. What are you talking about? I'm just going to be talking about how I lost weight and, you know, try to stay positive and move forward. Who wants to hear that? If I, if I didn't overcome those and battle through those internal demons and those voices and in my head, I would have never been to the place that I am right now where I'm talking to you and having beautiful conversations on the back end with some feedback that I get and the different things that we're doing. I would have never experienced it or even known it. But now I know that every time I talk on the microphone, even if it's one person, And the one person is sitting at the gym right now and they got their headphones on and they're listening to me talk to them saying that you can do whatever you set your mind to and you just check out all of those negative thoughts and just go for your dreams and go for the things you want to be able to accomplish. How amazing is that? Right? I mean, like, that's a pretty powerful thing. If I can influence one person to be the best version of themselves because you never know what their life is all about. You never know what, what they're faced with. You just don't. So be the positive influence. Be the better person. Rise above. Do all those things. If you're in a feud with somebody, step up. Do what you got to do. Mend fences. Do everything you got to do to be able to keep moving forward. And you know what? At the end of the day, if you continue to try to mend fences or you continue to try to do the, the things that you need to do to make it better and they keep on going down that road, then okay, screw them. They, they, you don't need them in your life, right? But you got to try. You got to continue to move forward. You got to continue to be the positive influence that you're meant to be. Be the light that you are meant to be. Don't be the negative influence. Don't be the person that brings others down. Encourage people. Lift people up. Step aside from all egos and all that stuff and walk over to somebody and say, hey, you know what? You inspired me. Hey, you know what? I'm truly inspired by the things that you're doing and I really want to be in your space because I think that it's really cool the things you're doing. Go volunteer. Do the positive things. You know, you guys know, you guys know the whole mantra of where I'm at. If you're doing good for others, you're going to feel good about yourself. And if you're doing good for others, you're investing in them, you're investing in the world, you're investing in you, right? That's really where we're at with everything. So at the end of the day, All we really have to do is we should really lean in and check those feelings out the door, okay? Check them out. Just throw them out. So we let life and life's feelings get in the way of our happiness happens way too often. Don't let life get in the way of you being happy. Let life be a catalyst of you being happy. Let it it be a conduit. For you to go from wherever you are right now to achieve the things that you wanted to be able to accomplish and achieve. We're only on this earth for a short amount of time. Experience it. Live it. Breathe it. Do all the things you have to do. 
I hope I hope this resonates with you because as I heard him say in that story about where he was for a missed opportunity from getting to know somebody that he knows would have made a positive impact on his life and he regrets that. So do you want to live with that regret for the rest of your life? No, I don't. So that's why I'm saying it. Go out, do the things that you're meant to do, be the positive influence you're meant to be and just be who you need to be expand your horizons, do all the things that you have to do and take some of these things that you're feeling, those things like jealousy, envy, greed, desire, all those things, take all those things and start to minimize those and start to accentuate things like happiness and love and appreciation and encouragement. Those kind of words are more important than those other ones so that way we can really continue to move forward and be positive influences in the world and our lives, okay? Have a great day, everybody. We'll talk later. Thank you so much for listening to the Coffee Talk with Liquid Shano 1973 podcast. If you'd like to become a patron of the show, please go to www.patreon.com slash liquid coffee talk to join. Also, you can find me on all different social media platforms like Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook just by looking for at Liquid Shano 1973. And lastly, if you get a chance, please hop over to iTunes and leave the podcast a rating and some feedback on it. We would truly appreciate it. So we'll see you on the next podcast.